Hello viewers, welcome to Nature's Heritage Network. We are still on harvesting yams from the bags. Um, some time ago, I posted a video where we harvested the yam from bags by removing the tubers, then I left the head so that it will form the seed yam. I promised in that video, I'll put the link up there now, I'll, I promised in that video that I'm going to show us another way to also get the seeds from the bag and also the tubers, the, both the seed yam and the tuber from the same bag. So this is the other method that I promised. So just sit back and watch as we demonstrate this. All right, but before the, this is the, this is the bag that we are going to work on. Before we start, I will just show us a few things. You need some form of um, wood ash. Of course, you need your knife and your protective glove. Another very important thing is something like this, like a piece of carton. You are going to see what I'm going to do with this. All right, so this is the yarn that we are going to harvest. Of course, we can see that the leaves are already getting yellow. It's, it's, it's showing us that senescence is already occurring and so the two bars are matured. What I'm going to do is to expose the head of the yam like we always do. Okay, expose the head of the yam. Of course, the bag is already almost uh, all gone. But the importance of what I'm going to do now is very, very simple. I'm going to have to cut the head. I'll just cut the head. I've already detached the head from the main tuber. This is the main tuber. Now, the difference between what we are doing and what we did earlier on is that this one, I'm not going to remove the tuber from the bag. I'm going to leave the tuber till I'm going to harvest everything till the seed yam is fully matured. So I will harvest both the seed yam and the main tuber. Unlike what we did earlier on, we removed the tuber first and left the head. Now, I've already cut the neck from the main tuber. Of course, that's the cut surface. In order to prevent rot of that tuber, I'll just apply ash. Ash is an antifungal agent, a natural antifungal agent. I'll just apply ash to cover the cut surface. You are, you are going to be careful so that the so that the root will not be detached. Now you can see the cut surface has been fully covered with ash, so it's prevented from getting rotten. So what I'm going to do is to put, get this piece of carton, use it to actually separate so that the cut surface of the neck or the head and the main to bath, they, uh, they don't come in contact anymore. So this is what I'm going to do. I'll just, so this is the first method to do this. There are two methods. It's either you do it this way or you just look for a way to shift the head away from the cut surface so that there's no contact at all. Now, the reason why I'm going to put a piece of carton in between or anything to separate the neck and the tuber is because I can't really move this head. It's not so free for me to move. Rather than destroy the root, I'll just separate it with something. But if I had space, what I would have done would be to move the head towards any part of the bag. I'll put a short video just by the side of this video as I'm doing this now to demonstrate that. So there are two methods. It's either you do this or you shift the head away. Any one you do will still give you the same result. So I've already done this now. What I'm going to do is to just cover. I'll just cover with my soil still from the same bag of course sometimes you can even just take some of all this soil away and put them somewhere these ones that are here i can just use them or any one that is here i can just use it and cover now in about two to three months time this vine will, these vines they will be completely dried what i will just do is to come here tear the bag open get the seed and also get the main tuber. So, we've already explained this. Add it to the knowledge that you have with the one we have done before. Just before we finish this video, let me show you what I'm actually talking about, what I've achieved. I've done some other few ones. So let's, let me show you what I've achieved with this. So guys, this is what I have done. I did this some time ago. This, 
is the CDN that is already for me. You can see there are new two bars for me here now. <laughs> Look at it. All right. You can see them now. This is what I want to achieve. This is exactly what I want to achieve. You can see it's still very white and of course everything is green. Now I separated the two, this main tuba now with something under. The main tuba is down. Let me show us. So you can see that you can see the main tuba. This is the main tuba here. This is the CDM that is for me. Now this is the separation medium that I used. Alright. This is the separation medium that I use. Let me carefully bring it out. You see, this is the separation medium that I use to separate both the head and the main tuba. So I'm still going to put it back. So you can see that this is already forming the root and intact. The new um, CDM is formed. So I'll still cover it back with soil. So guys, you can see that it's actually a win-win situation. All right. Now, let me show you yet another one. All right, guys, this is, a, this is the other method I was talking about. This is the main tuba. I had space, so what I did was to separate the head. It's still inside the same bag, but I shifted it to the other. Now, this is the main tuba. I've not removed it. At the end of everything, I'm going to remove both. So what I did was to, of course, look at the ash that I've used to cover the cut surface so that it will not rot. So these are the two methods of getting your CDM while the main tuba is still inside your bag. Whichever way you go about it is a win-win situation. So now you have, you have learned three methods in all. The first one was the one we did in that video where we had to remove the major tuba and we left the head. The second set is leaving the tuba, but you do it in two ways. One of the ways you separate with a medium if you don't have space to shift the head to. Another way is to now shift the head and leave the two bar. They'll just be lying side by side. At the end of it all, you are going to remove all of them. So guys, you have seen that you can use these two methods to achieve a common goal, to get your CDM and of course the main two bar at the same time. The reason for this basically is because you may not have the time to harvest or you want to preserve the two bars still in the bags. Whichever um, reason you are doing this, it is a method that you should try as much as possible to explore. So thanks for watching our channel and God bless.